Welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use Audio Two-Face from NVIDIA to make our character from Character Creator to talk. First, let's load the FBX exported from Character Creator. Duplicate the mesh. In Edit Mode leave only the head. Select the head, invert the selection, and delete the rest. Leave the head selected and go to MoCap Import Add-in. Export the model. Choose a place to save it. Now, open Audio Two Face. Open the exported file. Attention, you will see two files, select the one with fixed in the name. Choose Open. Go to Tab Character. In Tools, click on Mail Template. Move the head that showed up, next to the head imported. The best is to put the gray one, on one side, and the green one on the other side. To see better, add a light source. On the drop-down menu. Now, select Mark, select your imported mesh, and select the Mark Open Mouth. Click on Add Points. Select the points around the mouth. The tip of the nose. The corner of the eyes, the ear and forehead. Click on Done. If you like you can unselect the correspondent visibility option to hide the created points. Click on Begin Mesh Fitting. Click on Begin Post Wrap. Click on Audio 2 Face tab. Select the Mark Mesh. Click a 2F pipeline. Click Yes to attach to the Mark Mesh. And pressing play you can see the animation on the mark mesh and the on the imported mesh. Select the mesh to export. Select the one with result on the name. Choose a folder. Select the FPS. And click export as Maya Cache. Don't worry, mocap import can deal with this created file. Go back in Blender and with the head selected, Click on Import as NLA Strip. Grab the Maya Cache exported from Audio Two Face. Press Play and you will see that it's working fine. Now we have to transfer the animation to the full body. If your mesh has beard or brow on a separated mesh, you will have to join to the body mesh. Do it selecting the beard, brow and the body mesh as the last one. Press Ctrl plus J. This will make all the selected mesh belong to the body mesh. Put the head used on Audio 2 face back on its origin, it should be on top of the full body mesh. Select the full body mesh. Go to the Mesh Data Transfer add-in. Select the origin, the head. Click on World and then, Transfer Shape Keys. Now you can hide the head object. Open a window with the dope sheet, go to Shape Key Editor, and select the shape key that is available, and the full body mesh now will have the head animation. The problem now is that the jaw is not moving, but we will fix this using bones. Hide the mesh, it will be easier to see the bones. Select the armature, go to Edit Mode. Select the jawbone and duplicate it. Leave it at the same place. Increase the size of the bone to be easier to select it. Weight paint. Now we are going to create the weight paint to drive the movement of the lower part of the mouth. Select the armature and shift select the teeth. Change to weight paint mode. Select the jawbone that we have duplicated. You can see that there is no vertex group with the jawbone name, so to create one, we click anywhere on the lower part of the mouth. Go to edit mode, face mode and select at least one of the faces of the lower part of the mouth, the teeth and the gum.
Press Ctrl plus L to select the full mesh of the selected faces. On the vertex group created, be sure that the weight is set to 1 and click Assign. Now the bone will drive the movement for the lower teeth and gum. Constraint Let's add a rotation constraint to avoid the jaw to do weird movements. Set it to local space and select limit X, Y and Z. On limit Z we will limit it to a custom value. Click the eye on the constraint to mute it, and on the jawbone, move it forward to beyond the max rotation you want it to have. Enable the rotation constraint clicking again on the eye icon, and change the minimum limit until the teeth is in the place you want for the mouth close. Disable the constraint again, and rotate the bone to the max position you want the mouth open. Enable it again and tweak the max value until it reaches the desired place. Test it to see if it's the way you want. Driving the movement on the jaw based on the lip sync. Go back to object mode and unhide the meshes. Go to the beginning of the animation. Select the full body mesh and go to edit mode. Change to vertex mode. Select a point in the middle of the lower lip or chin. Make the 3D cursor to move to that point using Shift plus S and select the option, Cursor to Selected. Go back to Object Mode and add an empty. You can resize the empty to be easier to see it. With that empty selected, Shift select the full mesh and change to Edit Mode. We already have a selected vertex, so we should press Ctrl plus P to parent the empty to that vertex. Now, go to Object Mode, the empty will follow the movement of that vertex. Now let's hide the body mesh to work on the bone. Select the armature and go to Edit Mode. Select the tip of the jawbone we've duplicated and make the 3D cursor to that point using Shift plus S and select the option, Cursor to Selected. Go back to Object Mode and create another empty. Select the created empty and Shift select the first created empty and press Ctrl plus P to parent the new empty to the older one. Now, when the first empty moves, the second will also move. Select the armature again and go to Pose Mode. Select the duplicated jawbone and add a damp track constraint. Select the target to be the last created empty. And we will have our jaw moving when the mouth moves. That's it. We hope you liked it. And if you enjoy our videos and would like to support us, please be a Patreon, the link is in the description below. This will help us to keep creating tutorials, tools, and animations to help the Blender community. Thanks a lot, see you in the next time.